Okay, here we go. I've opened up Star Tools, and what I've done, I've created. Um, I've taken your JPEG file and I've created. Um, let me say, I've split it, split it up into RGB out, luminance, red, green, and blue, whatever that means, using a bit of software I, I use. So I'm just going to open each layer. That's the luminance. What's it say? Red. That was red. Find the green. Let's do this quickly. What's next? Blue. <laughs> there's the blue. Blah 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 blah. So there's your there's your file split up. All there there. Right, so I'll just keep that. And then it will say the normal screen. I I don't know why these days I tend to choose <laughs> number two. It says there's some possible stacking artifacts. As you see it's quite a, a wide file. Just get I'll just quickly go through the normal Schmeichel. So that's a quick auto dev shows you where your possible stacking errors are. Don't quite know how it's going to wangle stacking errors because the whole of the background is basically a, an anomaly. In any case, now then, so we want to do a wipe, but we don't want to include these background areas. So if we go into mask, reduce it down. Obviously, it start everything starts green. Everything green means go, basically. So any module that you use, it will create. It will act on anything that's green. So if I invert it, I could zoom up. This is my th thinking on this one. Zoom into our our area of here that we don't want. Probably a bit too wide that actually. And if we go down to the bottom, you've got a, a click on there, you get a few options. Perhaps um, if I try flood fill in darker areas for initially it might work. So if I click on that, now where all your dark black bits are It's going to fill it in with green. Okay, initially that's that's cool. So if I were just go back out a bit, obviously we've got some funny edges here. So you could, if you go at the top, you've got grow. It says grow, so I can grow that mask. Okay, I'm going to lose a little bit of the the thing. Keep going until we get get all the edges sorted out. I think there's a bit of black over here I'm just going to tweak over. You can tidy this up yourself at some point. If I just grow that a little bit. Now, let me zoom into that bit. Hang on. Just notice this. I should be able to get that, shouldn't we? Missed it, lost it. Hey, a wee beast. Let's go back out a bit. Obviously, if you click on them again, it reverses what you've already done. So you can keep <laughs> keep going until you get it right. One of the options you've got down the bottom here as well is grow blob. So we've got a blob there, which it means a mask part of the blob. So if I click on the green bit, it will grow it. 
So I can actually grow individual green blobs now. Yeah. So the one at the top that grows, it will grow the whole thing. The one at the bottom itemizes it not to. The only thing I'm wary of is that this little piece round here is going to form a, an edge that may affect. So if I go back to feel same colour, similar colour I do. So now I should be able to pick it. That's got everything. So we can go undo. No, it's not going to pick up that little bit, is it? Just down below. Hang on. I love a challenge. Just zoom in a little bit further, but you can get the hang of this down a bit. Obviously, you can zoom in almost to pixel level. What am I on? Similar colour, so anything black I thought it would get, but it's not going to play, is it? Flood field darker colours. Seems to like that one. Just thought I'd try and get these corner ones a little bit darker and then when I grow if I go on to the back to the grow blob I'm trying to do this quickly but okay let's grow the whole schmuzzle now there you go something like that so now the mask is taken over. The green is everything but the image. But we don't want that. The green, we don't want the background to be um, used in the white, white module. So if we invert it now, the um, the white module will only work on the green bits. So you could actually shrink it a little bit. So I'll just close it in. So now we've got just the just our image. So I'll keep that. I'm not I know I did an auto deal, I'm not worried about that. Now we can wipe it. And it will ask, do we want to keep the mask or fill it? So we want to keep it at normal routine now. We're out of So there's our wipe our wipes. Just just concentrate on that. Do a keep. Perhaps go back into develop. Redo the global stretch. Nigel's old trick of going down on about 10 on the gamma and then you can home in the best you can. I'll just stick with the default for a minute. 43 doesn't sound very high. We'll keep that. And one I've got, don't forget that mask. If you go into the mask module, we can save that mask. So it actually says there new LRG, LRGB composite mask. So I just go, I can save that into that folder. I'm using version 1.4 of Star Tools, so you always have to put the, the word TIFF at the back, otherwise it won't save it. Now I've saved, I've saved that file, that mask, into the thing. So I can utilize it, um, open and close it whenever I want.
Did I do colour? I can't remember. Well, let's do it anyway. So I'll keep the mask because I only want it to work on the green with the colour. Crikey, that was quick. Push it up a bit, see if I can get any more colours out. I don't know why, just lately I've been using the scientific more often than the other. But don't forget, push up dark saturation. So what was it before? Before it was like that, it's, if anything it's a bit too blue now. Anyway, this is about the mask, not the colours. I mean, you can play them here for hours anyway, as you well know. So I'll keep that for a minute. But now we've saved that block mask for the whole aerial. Um, if I wanted to concentrate on just individual areas as well, I could now, I can go into the mask, I can clear it, Click clear it, obviously sets it better. I say I just wanted to play with the the nebulosity and these Pleiades or whatever that in there. You can use the lasso, for example, and draw with the lasso with your mouse all around there. Do the same around there. I'm doing this really quick to so highlight it. And don't forget, down here we've got the grow blob element so if you want that one bigger you can grow it and shrink blob as well so so that was a bit big wasn't it so just keep clicking on it and it will shrink it so now I've, I've just saved those areas sometimes just give me two secs if I go back to the lasso and if you go back over it with the lasso Never works in theory when you're doing it. If you go around it again, it removes it. So the lasso has a two pronged thing. If you go over it again, the same area, it will actually revert it back to, to what it was before. The other elements in here, sometimes it's handy if you've got, you do something with, say, I didn't want. A particular that green so if I choose similar color just click it it's gone but then again similar color I can equally highlight say I just wanted the nebulosity bits in here if I highlight them whoops, excuse me undo just does undoes the the current little element don't forget so I'm just trying to pick up some of these pinky bits once you've got them, you've got different options to to grow just that area. So you can grow it up here, which grows the whole lot uniformly, and then go down the bottom and just grow the blob. So if you just wanted, say, one particular area grown, just click on that with the grow blob, and it'll blob rather, and it'll just do that. Cool. So. It isn't rocket science, Cameron, it's just having a play. Similar colours good. One that use that they use sometimes quite a lot is single pixel. So you want to if you zoom in for an area, you can just wax them just on and off with the and slightly drag it with the with the mouse in this case and you can pick out individual areas you need quite a few to see them once you've got the little green bit now you're back onto the grow blob bit and you can just grow them it's quite useful when you've got bloated stars like this and with blue halos and you you want to get rid of the you, well you want to process out the halos you can create a mask just on those areas and if you invert it that area won't get um, processed 
and you can shrink it and grow it. If you shrink it, obviously now, it, the blue halo would get, if you increase it like so, now the blue halo on the star won't get processed. So if I keep that, now I've got a funny little mask, but there's no nothing to be afraid of with mask. If you go back, zoom in, have a quick look. So now that the green is going to act on everything apart from the nebulosity and that. It's not quite what I expected to do. I wanted it to be the other way around, so I just want to work it on there. So now I can keep it. Perhaps go into, for example, the life module, which does utilize masks. I'm using, you can see that, to change that then. But it only changed the, the area with the mask on. It's not going to do much to that because there's not much to do on it. You have to be careful with the life module because that um, utilizes masks. I'll keep that for a sec. The HDR one, there's an example. We've got the mask already on there. If I hit HDR, which you mentioned on your thing, let's zoom in. I do a reveal and seem to seems okay this time but invariably sometimes it's a bit I'm a bit confused whether if the mask if the HDR module actually takes any notice of the mask or whatever so just just a bit of a heads up there really um, what do we say that looks quite pretty so <laughs> Oh, sorry, cancel that. Restore, I've never even touched that ever. Stop tracking. Walla, walla, walla. And that's going to go on for about half an hour, that's better than my luck. But that was just out of a... Utilising your um, little JPEG. That's about it, really. Hope this helps you out, mate. Good go. I'm going to stop recording because that I'll probably, oh no, it's finished, hang on. Noise floor, keep partial mask. Well, let's let's set the full mask. I always like to have mine smoothed out a bit and I'm never that afraid with, afraid with the grain size easier, um, either, easier, either. So, The old trick is to zoom in, but this has been so wide filled, you'll get to pixel level very quickly. And it's a JPEG, remember? So I just want it to be really highly smoothed out and re noise reduction. Dink -a dink -a do. Finish. Keep the result. And that's basic, basically how you mask it, and you can process it with that. Remember, I'm using um, version 1.4 of Start. Also, you always have to put the TIFF extension in yourself. Badonk. There you go. Hope that helps you.